Hey, long lost friend. <laughs> Where you been? Where you been hiding? We've been looking all over for you. Yep, couldn't, sure have. Couldn't find you. Yeah, but here we are. I'm glad we found each other and it's a good day to find each other because today is the day we are going to win ourselves $10 million. Woo. So let's get to scratching and then we can catch up like old friends and see where everybody has been. Okay, uh, if you haven't seen this ticket before, you're looking for cash up top and if you find the cash up top, then you win it. If you find a symbol, you win nothing. And then down yeah. here, we're looking to uh, match numbers or find multipliers or something cool and then you get to scratch off the prize okay here we go so uh where have we been where have you been where has everybody been yeah. i don't know i don't know uh so yeah we haven't been around in a little while it's been a couple weeks i think this is the longest we've ever gone without posting a scratcher video super uh, busy. yeah we didn't intend for it to be like this <laughs> uh there was one week which was a couple weeks ago where we were just super busy it was just one of those weeks where you're like stressed out and you can't catch up on anything and you're driving yourself crazy and your to-do list will never be finished uh so it was one of those weeks and so we're like well why stress out why pressure ourselves to make a video if we just legit don't have the time so uh we didn't and we're like cool we'll do it next week and uh then the hubby got a cold yeah. which is wild because you don't really get colds uh, just a seasonal yeah i guess so I guess. yeah and of course just like anytime you get sick nowadays <laughs> you know you think oh my god is it COVID? And yeah. I'm jamming all these COVID sticks up the poor guy's nose, you know? It wasn't. <laughs> and it wasn't. So, um, you know, but man, you felt really bad with this this cold. It was a, a icky one. Yeah, it's kind of lingering. Yeah, just kind of lingering. And I mean, you know, I don't mean to be rude, but you sounded horrible. Yeah. <laughs> so we're like, okay, again, why push it? Why, you know, why force it? It's not that big of a deal. And so that's how, uh, you know, we ended up kind of MIA for a little yeah. while on, on YouTube, but uh, here we are back again. Now, uh, the, hubby does, <laughs> the hubby does have a theory on how he caught his cold. Um, it was an ice cream scooper, right? Yep. That's what you believe did it, did it all. Did you in a dang ice cream <laughs> scooper. So, sure did. <laughs> So we don't go out much, as you know, we're kind of old people. We really enjoy our weekends at home, you know, working in the garden and, you know, watching new movies on Netflix or whatever the heck, you know. Um, so that's kind of normally the highlight. But we decided to get crazy and we actually went to a concert recently. Oh, yeah. Yep, that was part of the busy week, week one, the busy week. Um, <laughs> we had a concert on the calendar and we were super excited about it. Uh, we went and saw... Is it Odessa? Odessa. O Odessa. Oh, I see there's a Z in there, yep, but nice. I always pronounce it without the Z. And then when I say it, I kind of do this like half Od question yeah. mark thing yeah, on the Odessa's end. Odessa is like a town in Texas. Oh, is it? For Friday Night Lights. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We used to love that show, Friday Night Lights. Yeah. The movie was good too, but we were really big fans of the TV show. Oh, I, I never put it all together. Okay. I was just fans of the music when it would come up on the hubby's playlist. And so when he told me they were coming to town, I'm like, well, let's go check that out. So it was a it, Friday night, which, you know, normally when there's like a concert on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. It's a no-go. That's not happening. I mean, you know, it would have to be somebody really spectacular in our our world for us to go out on a Tuesday night to see a concert but it was a Friday so it was kind of one of those things like the stars aligned right and to make the stars align even more I found out that at my work they have access to tickets for like one of those boxes one of those like VIP boxes at the yeah. concert venues and uh, uh first off oh did that trick you yeah had one. <laughs> you got all excited <laughs> So yeah, so we had never been to this VIP box, but we're like, well, we'll give it a try and see if the tickets are available for this concert. And they were, and so we were excited. So anyway, so we go, and as we're like, you know, going through security and going through the gates and whatever, we get inside the venue, and that's when the little greeter person lets us know that our tickets come with access to the VIP lounge. Yeah. I'm like, well, that sounds amazing. Literally, I have no idea what that means. I mean, it could seriously be nothing. It could be a pop-up tent, but you say mm. VIP lounge, and man, I'm excited, right? Yeah, gotta check it out. <laughs> we got to check it out. So, and then she goes, oh, but, you know, because we kind of came in late, right? 
kind of missed some of, you know, there were two different openers. So we missed the first opener. And she goes, oh, but, you know, you might want to hurry up because the food, uh, you know, goes fast. And I'm like, the food? What are you talking about? Like, you know, I'm like, the hot dogs and stuff they sell at concessions? I'm like, no, that... That can't be what she's talking about. So we get back there, and I mean, it's it's cool. It's like this little, you know, just kind of private area. Um, since, yeah. you know, it was an EDM show, there was like this weird snow globe ball thing you could climb into. Yeah, like, take a photo and stuff. <laughs> take a photo. Um, we did not get in and take a photo. Sorry. Sorry, nope. to, <laughs> sorry everybody. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we see this lone table in the corner, and there are two, like, Poke bowls left on it, and we look at it and we go, "Nope, uh, uh-uh, uh, not doing that." No. Don't know how long that fish has been, <laughs> that raw fish has just been sitting there. So I guess that's what all the early birds got were uh, poke bowls. I'm sure it was delicious when it was first done. No, okay, nothing. nothing on that one. Okay, well, good thing we got we got one more right here for you. Uh, so yeah, so we skip the two lone abandoned poke bowls, and that is when we spot an ice cream sundae bar. Yeah. And a Friday night, still feeling kind of summerish in San Diego, and we're like, yes, please. And so, um, you know, it was like kind of scoop your own ice cream. They had a big old tub of vanilla, and then they had like a zillion different toppings and all kinds of cool stuff. And (laughs) I see the hubby put his hand on the ice cream scooper. Yep. (laughs) And then you go and you get the tiniest scoop of ice cream I've ever seen in my entire life. And so I'm confused because you're not a tiny scoop man. I'll say that about you. I'll say that about my husband with pride. (laughs) He is not a tiny scoop man. And so I'm confused. And that's when he tells me, oh, my God, I just touched the COVID ice cream scooper. Like, how many people have touched that thing? And, you know, of course. Yeah. And then I'm laughing at you like you're a psychopath. Like, okay, guy. So, you know, give him some Perel, the whole thing. We, We enjoy our ice cream sundaes and go out and have a great time at the concert and yeah, if you can yes. ever sit yourself in a luxury box, I highly advise you do it because right. <laughs> that was definitely the way to go. So thankful we got hooked up with those tickets. But yeah, it was what, like a day and a half, two days later, all of a sudden you start hearing the little tickle in his throat. Oh, like that damn ice cream scooper. Me. You knew it. You knew it. It got you. <laughs> it was more like the cold flu ice cream scooper, though. It wasn't It wasn't the COVID scooper, luckily. No. <laughs> But yeah, so so there we go. I guess I guess watch out for that, right? And you never know when it's gonna get you. But I'm glad we're back. We're feeling normal. Now we just need a win, right? right. I mean, there's six of those top ten million dollar prizes out there. Where is it? Where's it's this? hiding pretty good. <laughs> it's hiding really good. Oh my gosh! Come on, thirty dollar scratcher. What are you doing? Those thirty dollar scratchers, they get you, man. Yeah. They hurt. Okay, come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go, and... What? Seriously? Seriously. Okay, well, we got one more in our stack. I can't go out on a loser, babe. It's That's been, our backup. Like, seriously. I mean, we take a couple weeks off, and then we come back with that? All Not right. Cool. Not cool. And, uh, you know, if you missed the video, I don't know how many videos ago it was, maybe three, four videos ago when we got a big win on this ticket. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, go check that out. That was super fun. Now we just need to find another one of those. <laughs> and all these symbols are pretty, but we, that's not what we want to see. We want to see the, the dollar amount under there. So, yeah. Well, and then to continue our concert, you know, craziness, because like I said, it was good. It was a busy week. We had a lot going on. We had tickets to go see Guns N' Roses just two nights after that. So the first concert we went to was on a Friday night, and Guns N' Roses here in San Diego was on a Sunday night. Now, that's not ideal on a Sunday night. So on a Sunday night, and then the hubby had just come down with a cold, so we said, ah, no go, and gave our Guns N' Roses tickets to somebody else. I so, to enjoy it. Yeah, so I'm glad the tickets didn't go to waste. And, you know, the good news is, is, you know, between the two of us, I don't know how many times we've seen Guns N' Roses, quite a few. Yeah. So we're really lucky, you know, because, I mean, man. And I'm sure, you know, they were probably, you know, don't don't tell Axel I said this, but they were probably better, you know, years ago. <laughs> right. I, I don't know if, you know, a rock band where you scream your vocals out, if, if that gets better over time. I feel like that just gets worse over time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on, guy. What's going on? 
These tickets. These I tickets. Don't know. These tickets. They're doing it. They really are. They punishing us from that claimer? <laughs> Seriously, they're like, we hooked you up really good in the beginning, so now you yeah. get nothing. No, come on. It's still coming, you guys. It's coming. It's gonna be right here. Give me a nice, sweet win. Come yep. on. Maybe a multiplier? What? Do that would they, be good. Right? Come on. Let's do something good. We need something after our time off. Okay. Seriously, dude? It's crazy. Seriously, dude. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Last box. Let's go. Let's go. We got... Oh, oh man. <laughs> I thought that was That's a crazy. three. Wow. I thought that was a three. Dang it. Okay. We're going to scan them, but I don't know how. I mean, these are too easy to miss. So there you go, oh, guys. Okay. $120 worth of scratchers and uh, nada. Nope. So, oh, well. All right. This is why we tell you to gamble responsibly. Yep. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, and we'll talk to you next time.